Hello everyone, welcome to TechScale. So today we're going to install Revenge OS in our awesome, awesome Poco F1. And as you can see, I'm already on the Revenge OS home screen on this website and they have a lot of stuff to tell us. And they have even, you know, a small little overview of how the UI looks like. But we're going to install it in our device. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, I want to highlight something that if you have any question regarding this room or you don't want to ask me anything you can always do that in comment section and just in case just in case you don't want to ask there you can directly ping in the channel on discord and on telegram both of the links are in the description so feel free to join the telegram group and the discord server to answer i'll answer all your questions there so let's start with the installation procedure of the room so first of all right now i want to tell you that i am on dot os that is 5.1 and if you are interested in watching the video how i installed that and how the room looks like the link is in this i button here and as you can see i am on dot os 5.1.1 here right this is also a very beautiful looking room although the performance is not that great so first of all if you are on any other custom room number one thing that you have to do is you have to go to security and you have to remove the security lock if you have any any on your phone right this will only help you to not get your device encrypted just in case you are on other custom room right so after that a suggestion from my side will be always keep your data backed up whenever you want to install an other custom room because you might end up losing your data if if some step goes wrong right so please keep your data backed up all, all the time before installing any custom room now download the custom room from the link that i have given in the description that's direct link you press on it and the, your room will start getting downloaded right after that and other thing keep your phone charged up to 30 percent at least right and now press the volume up button and and the power button both at the same time to get into the twrp section right away i'll be in twrp section just in some seconds and here the phone vibrates twice and i'll be in the twrp section right away right you can see i'm on twrp section now and now what i'll do is number one thing i want to tell you that i am going to do a clean flash on the device since i don't have anything in my phone so if you are having something in your phone keep it uh, keep it at a backed up and the thing that you need to wipe is dalvik k system and data do not wipe your internal storage because it will also wipe every file on the system the wiping the dalvik cache system and data will only remove the os and its data from your phone right after that uh, okay let me just wipe the data so i'll just go to format and i'll type here yes and the device will start getting formatted right so i will always you know if you are migrating from other custom room i'll always always recommend you to do a clean flash because this will you know uh and all the probabilities of of you fell, uh, falling into boot loops or something so i'm again going on the twrp section by pressing the volume up and power button and now here i am on the twrp section now what i'll do is i'll quickly quickly put the rom file in my phone and i will meet you on the lock screen uh, on the on the installation screen here right so here i am i have successfully copied the rom file in my device as you can see i'll click on install and here you can see the revenge os official beryllium and before you install i want to tell you that this is a uh, built without g apps because the size i did not check it before this is of 874 mbs that means g apps are definitely not included in this build so uh, do keep that thing in in mind i'll also mentioned that in the description as well so now you have to click on this file and you have to swipe to confirm flash right as you know like the swap the this installation procedure uh, takes about like five minutes uh, more or less like one minute yeah i mean like four to six minutes it can take so i'll quickly quickly install it and i'll see you on the boot menu of of this room and just in case anything goes wrong i'll be mentioning that as well with you people so i'll fast forward the video from there so as you can see we have successfully installed it in our phone and it says done here now i'll we'll click on reboot and the, the system will start getting rebooted and very soon we'll see a uh, the boot logo of revenge os so just just stay here for a while i don't want to forward it from just here right now i want to see how the the okay so here we are we are having this beautiful looking animation of of the revenge os boot 
menu and since there are no G apps here, I believe we will directly directly reach the home screen in no time. Okay, just blow the Bluetooth speaker sound. So okay and here we are i believe on the home screen of revenge os let me increase the brightness and here we are just just have a look at this home screen my god this looks absolutely stunning and the first first look this is just awesome i want to tell you that i can i can literally say that this is the one of the finest looking rooms that i have ever seen just by looking at this quick setting style and the home screen so quickly quickly let's okay go to the settings menu and okay so this is very much stockish and let's go to the about phone section first and have a look at everything okay we are since uh, this is the June build, so we are getting the June security patch in here, right? So, other than that, let's see what else do we have. Do we have some customizations here? Okay, we have apps and notifications. This looks very much similar. Okay, we are, these are very much, you know, old style. Okay, so we have thermal profiles here as well. So, just in case people who are curious, we have thermal profile here as well so other than that if we go to display we don't have anything extraordinary here we have tap to wake and other than that <coughs> let's see what else we are having here in the privacy it's very much similar to the other custom rooms another thing let's go to the security and see if there is any face unlock so unfortunately face unlock support is not here in this device as you can see in the screen lock we just have five of this and no no face unlock option available here so people who are curious about that note that thing in mind right other than that for checking since we don't have any play store or anything here so uh, installing the drm and uh, telling you whether drm level one is available or and whether the safety net uh, passes by default or not and other benchmarks i will not be able to do it right now but definitely after installing the play store from a third party source i'll definitely definitely tell you people about that as well right so if your people are interested do subscribe to the channel for knowing more about this room since a video will be coming up uh, probably in the evening with all the benchmarks and all the performance test and maybe a gaming test as well just in case you are curious if you have any questions I am giving the link of Discord channel and the Telegram channel on the in the description. Do join that and ask your questions there. I'll be directly replying to individual questions there. And otherwise, you can simply ping me up in the comments. Right. Other than that, you can see it looks absolutely, absolutely beautiful. There is no bloatware at all. There is some simple app. Okay. What is this? This is okay. The temperature app, I believe. So other than that, I think we also get a media player this is something just in case anyone still stores uh, music locally on their device and in the styles and settings we have something here let's see what it is okay so this thing is broken i don't know for some strange reasons it's not working etar i believe this is the calendar yeah very much similar to like google calendar but it's their own so this is it this is how the room looks like and absolutely no bloatware at all simple sober and absolutely beautiful looking room and and in the quick settings we can see we have inbuilt screen recorder here and other than that we have caffeine mode that means you know just in case you want to keep your screen awake for longer so th that's what caffeine mode is for so that's all for this video if you are interested in watching more videos like this do subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends who are interested in installing custom rooms so i'll see you in the next one Bye bye